I'm that, just, would be, that would be interesting if they did a sliding scale of like the average height of an NBA player versus when they played. So you could find out. Like, this is a movie. This is a movie. We should write this movie. It's two shithead guys have a fucking argument in a sports bar. And said, dude, I could make the fucking St. Louis Browns. <laughs> so they get in a fucking time machine and they go back. And then right before I get, I get my, right before we both get our tryouts, I get polio and you get Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> it's, it's hot tub time machine meets heaven can wait. <laughs> and you just go dark. Or, or we don't make the team. And then you get drafted into World War I. It just goes off the fucking rails. We, or or one of us gets one of us gets polio, Lou Gehrig's disease, drafted. But the other one is so overwhelmed with his white privilege that he, he's like a kid in a candy store. He doesn't know what to do. He beats his wife. He starts a business. He doesn't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I love it here. <laughs> he gets polio. He goes out and he buys the first Harley Davidson. Do you know how much this is going to be worth? It's like, dude, you're going to be dead by then. Oh. Oh. Jay Leno's going to buy this in fucking 90 <laughs> years. <laughs> oh. Um, I, I do, yeah, you could definitely, uh, yeah, you could do some damage if you went back in the day. Just, I mean, that was the greatest thing that I, the thing that I loved most about Back to the Future was, the, was how Biff just took the sports almanac and yeah. went out and just bet all the games, which is the exact thing a meathead like me would do. That would be my yearly income, and I would be really, really like, you'd have to be like real subtle about it, all right? I'd hit them big every five years, but I'd lose four years in a row. Yeah. I wouldn't lose a lot, but I'd lose enough, to, and I'd be, ah, oh, gee, oh, oh, whatever, right? Oh. Yeah. And then I'd, I'd fucking, I'd Wide kill Wide right, who saw that? <laughs> I'd kill him, because I got it memorized. I know who won. Yeah. I know in 1947, the Chicago Cardinals won the NFL title. And then I know the Eagles won the next two years. And then, of course, it was the Browns and then the Rams. Then two years of the Lions, two years of the Browns, 56 was the Giants, 57 was the Lions. I would crush it. 58, 59. I'd go to the fucking game, greatest fucking game ever. Two for Johnny Unitas, 1960s. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> 61, 62, Bart Starr and the Packers. 63 is the fucking, uh, that's the Bears, then the Browns. Three Pete. Three Pete for the Packers. And then you start, you know, and, and they also won the AFL. You know, and I can just fucking go from there. I want to see. Packers, Packers, oh, Jets, yeah, I want to see a short. Cowboys, film. Dolphins, Dolphins, Steelers, Steelers, Raiders. They, I want to see a short. Rain Man. I want to see a short film directed by Andrew starring you and your family and it's when your, your child takes their first steps and your wife's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, Bill. And you're just going through all the winning teams of the Super Bowl. Packers, Packers, then it was the Niners. <laughs> the Niners. You're like, oh, what? What's so fucked up is I can't get enough of sports uh, history and I don't give a shit really about today. Did you? Some, okay. Something, something that, happens. Because, Go ahead. That's a great point because I could give two fucking shits about the draft. But if you show me a draft from 1982, where it's like Dan Marino, uh, fucking that John was 83. Elway, 83, yeah, I, definitely 83. <laughs> I get so excited and I watch the whole thing, going, I know that guy. Yeah, no, that's that's like, I I, I can't get enough of that shit. I feel uh, like I should know the players more than I do but like I also got you know I got busy got married had kids and fucking you know fucking uh you know uh what do you call it the uh telling my jokes there you know I was thinking the other day I was trying to think of my act I I can't I forget about my opening joke I I can remember one bit oh trouble I got I videotaped my last month of shows so I have them all on tape I just gotta watch them that's kind of worse I'd rather try to remember what I did rather than watch myself. Uh, yeah, I'm, I might want to remember it too, because I know I'm going to get up and as a, if you, if I remember, if I haven't done my act in a while and I try to remember it, I fuck it up and I make it better usually. Dude, you know what's scary about all of that? What? Is just think about everybody is getting worse at what they do. Commercial airline pilots, not getting the stage time they need. Oh God. 
That's right? not what I want to think of. Did you the, like the, the shaky hand doctor for Kim Jong-un? Did you hear about that? Oh, yeah, because if the guy dies, they're going to throw him naked to the fucking dogs. According to the U.S. propaganda, he did that to one of his relatives. What's that? I don't want to repeat that. Did a couple, <laughs> fucking, couple of North Korean come over here and you see they, they fucking spray that shit on you and that's it? Johnny Hecker, the, the kicker. Who were those two women? Was that, a, that was a fucking movie. They went and they tried to spray some shit on this guy and kill him and they got caught. No, but they killed his brother that way. Did you see that? They killed Kim Jong-un's brother. He was in an airport. They came up and sprayed a, a chloroform in his face, went in and killed him right away, immediately. Don't say what it is. <laughs> Somebody's going to have that in a carnation. <laughs> like, like the original Batman series. Yeah. Um, hang on. I got to get this fucking computer's getting hot here. It's, getting it's interesting you say that about sports. I can watch the documentary This Football Life when it, about a player. I can watch any of them and any of them. They all fucking excite me and get me mesmerized. I watched fucking Carson Palmer the other day. Like, I've never been a huge Carson Palmer fan, but I walked away going, Carson Palmer figured out the, the key to life. Like, he figured it out. Like, God. Yeah, I, love, I love all of that shit. I like, uh, and it always motivates me to do something. Yeah. Go to the gym, fucking try a new 10 minutes. Like, it, it's kind of like, it's weird because they don't do what we do, but the same thing. They're going after what they want in life, which anybody who's a stand-up comedian, it's like, you went after it. You don't just end up, ah, I guess I'll be a comedian, you know? Yeah. Um, Speaking of which, I want to talk to you about, uh, I, want to talk, I didn't get to watch you and Chappelle and Neil and, uh, and Donnell. Oh, that was I fun. I don't think Zoom was up to the, how quick shit was going, but like, yeah, we kind of all just, in our own way, we're making fun of Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably the most over because he, you know, he's Donnell. He's gonna, he's like Donnell is like the youngest kid in the back of the station wagon. Yeah, so he's gonna just be shouting up there trying to get some fucking attention. Um, Neil was sort of walking around his house like uh, Bill Gates, <laughs> and uh, I was doing my usual weird angle shit. And then Dave Chappelle, of course, was the funniest guy out there. Yeah, Chappelle's fucking great. $100,000. That's great. Raise Thank you to everybody who uh, participated. You know, some fucking asshole, she wrote, she goes, I will, I saw on Twitter afterwards, just get, you know, I always read like 10 or 15 to the first real negative one. I go, all right, well, you know, we went 14 and one and we went 13 and three. That's all right. Make yeah. it some woman wrote, I will ask again, what are the comedians giving? And I so wanted to write back, well, didn't you take the hint the first time when no one gave a fuck? <laughs> like, I just love... Again. I love it. I will ask, a, like, this big, grandiose statement. And that's one of my favorite things as far as, like, how, like, the big thing during this pandemic is to be making fun of um, celebrities that are tone deaf and their big houses. And there's this hatred towards these these people. It's just like... I don't understand that. It's like, these people were you. They weren't born into wealth. They took all of their chips and they put it on the 200,000 to one and it came in. These people were you. Is they were. Yeah, yeah. And now because they have a bigger kitchen than you, they're somehow tone deaf, but you're not. The way you perceive them is, is right on the money. And because your fucking horse hasn't come in yet, somehow... You're like, I don't know what, a, a more honorable person? I don't, I, I just, I don't understand any of that shit. I don't understand when they make fun of, like, uh, like they're always like when celebrities get like Botox and shit, they're making fun of them and blah, 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 and they're all phony and they're all plastic. But then you look on Twitter and all these regular Joe six packs, all they do is trash people in the public eye who are getting older and what the fuck they look like. And they, they divorce themselves from the fact that they're like a part of the whole thing. The, the whole thing just like fascinates me that you could just hate somebody because they moved out here with a fucking, you know, a headshot and suddenly got, you know, worked their ass off, worked their fucking ass off and got a TV show. And now they have a nicer kitchen than you. So now you automatically hate them. 
Now, having said that, what kind of a fucking asshole with a million dollar kitchen is sitting there dancing around during a pandemic trying to cheer you up and forgets that they were in a fuck? I understand that aspect of it, but I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting a little fucking tired of uh, the regular Joe acting like they're, that they're a fucking saint because they're not. Yeah. They're not. Well, it's, it's, I mean, most, most of the comics that hosted gave money. And so forget about that. How about taking care of people in your fucking family, uh, in-laws, all kinds of shit. There's all kinds of fucking, if, if you're making anybody, if you're a successful plumber, you're helping out people. You're doing that. And then also what the, we're, we're fucking donating our time. Dude, yeah, I mean, how much fucking, I'm not going to get into it. Okay. But believe me, I've been donating. Yeah. That's okay? what, that's what's frustrating. And, and I'm doing fucking benefits. So I so wanted to go, but I knew that she wanted me to fucking respond and that would get her muffled. She just it's, she's just a troll. She, a, a, a perfect troll just wants you to, like, I think, think that that's what's wrong with that Korean tweet of mine is it was that I was trolling idiots who didn't know what I didn't know five minutes ago. So I was making a joke of morons who would go, uh, uh, Bert, their last name comes first. And then I go, yeah, fuck face. That's the joke. That's a troll. A troll just wants your response. The point is, I'm not a troll. I don't like that shit. I don't enjoy trolling. Like, it fucking gives me anxiety. So I had to pull my shit down. But all that woman wants is you. Because if she gets your response, then she I always think it's a, it's a bad move to pull your shit down. Because then, then it, it comes off like you, you meant it in a bad way. No, no. I just didn't want to deal with fucking... I didn't want to deal with people like... Like people I said, it was a smart move. I think you made a good move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> the... It's interesting because then you go, so what is, what is the, like people were shitting on, I sent you, uh, I sent you. I love you. that you can do like an hour show, even over Zoom. It, it is like, what are you giving? I just, what do you mean what am I giving? I just made you fucking laugh for an hour. Yeah. I just, I just did Dave my job. Chappelle, Dave Chappelle on, and, and Bill Burr, not, not knocking Neil and Donnell, I think they're fucking brilliant. But what is arguably two of the biggest specials on Netflix, you and Dave last year, this year, in, is are on a zoom for over an hour and she's like yeah but what do they give you're like oh fucking come on you just got to just i know it. but because the, then you put me in a position to show you the money that i have been giving and the people i give it to which i'm not going to fucking do which is not the point of giving something you're supposed to give something because you want to do it because it's the right thing not so you can fucking parade around about what the fuck you're doing you're fucking tweeting cunt 